If we could all come on in and take our seats. We are about to begin day two. I guess day two and a half, right, Mindy? If we could lower the uh, music, get everyone in, close the doors. Okay, uh, I'm Ralph DeVito, President and CEO of the American Brain Tumor Association and delighted to welcome you back to uh, this, our final day of an amazing 2024 ABTA National Conference. I hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah? Okay. Still waking up. Let's thank uh, Neuro42 for breakfast this morning. I hope you all enjoyed it. And um, uh, so many of the sponsors that help us with this conference, we appreciate it. I want to welcome those that are joining online. And a reminder that we're going to have it on our YouTube uh, Anytime channel probably in the next month or so, I believe. So you can, you know, uh, play back. You can tell your friends. Who are not able to make it or others so welcome back thank you uh, I thought they the full first day was amazing you've looked at the agenda you know how busy and packed it is so many things that we get to to cover but one of the great reasons to get together if you're here in person and for those of you online we we, we, uh, we're delighted you're joining us, but a special opportunity for those of you that are here in person is to get to know uh, your fellow brain tumor patients and survivors and caregivers. So if you haven't yet already done so, please reach out, get a name, follow up with emails and texting and maybe in-person meetings uh, in the coming year, and come back again next year uh, to re-engage in person. So uh, another thing I've been asked to mention that's really important is one of the ways the American Brain Tumor Association funds our research and patient services is through our Breakthrough for Brain Tumor Walks and Runs. We have about nine around the country in person, but an opportunity for you, wherever you are, anywhere in the country, and for that matter, anywhere in the world, if you want to help us raise money for our mission, we have a virtual BT5K. It starts um, tomorrow through the 21st. And you could walk, you could run, you could bike, anything you want to do. You can break it up into increments over multiple days. Uh, go to bt5k.org bt5k.org or reach out to anyone on staff. Really appreciate what you're doing. Um, I now want to introduce two very special people who are gonna present the ABTA's highest award. Uh, Don and Gail Siegel, if you'll join me here on stage. Uh, Don and Gail are what I call foundational leaders. Uh, they have been literally uh, helping to advance the mission through fundraising and patient services for well over 45 years. They have had a multiple of opportunities um, and just let's all of us give them a warm welcome. They were last year's recipients during our 50th year of the JAG Junior Award. Thank you, Ralph. Yeah, first of all, I want to thank uh, Sandra and Jonathan Jingris for bestowing this honor upon us last year. Um, now my prepared remarks. Um, good morning, of course. Uh, the Joel A. Jingris Founda Jr. Foundation has been a longtime co-partner with ABTA. Uh, when Joel Jingris passed away uh, from a brain tumor in 1998, uh, the Jingers family decided to dedicate their lives towards helping others fight this disease and formed the Joel A. Jingers Jr. Memorial Foundation, and by doing so, joined the brain tumor movement. Um, many people here and throughout the country have done events over the years uh, to raise funds for ABTA, and 
uh, and, and help our cause. Uh, but I have to mention uh, that the way the Jingers family does it, it's on steroids. Um, I've been fortunate uh, over the years to attend several of their events and they're remarkable. It's a remarkable family, it's a remarkable foundation, remarkable among her friends. Um, uh, so, and you're going to hear more about it. It, it is truly remarkable. Um, since partnering with ABTA over 30 years ago, uh, the JAG Fund has donated over $2.8 million to ABTA Research, funding 33 medical uh, fellowships and five discovery grants in Joel's name, which is wonderful. Uh, these funds have drastically impacted the way uh, that ABTA is able to serve the brain tumor uh, community. We thank them for their tireless commitment uh, and partnership. So please help me welcome from the great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, okay, uh, Jonathan Jingris, uh, who is the president of the Joel A. Jingris Jr. Memorial Foundation. Morning from Pennsylvania. Go Birds! Nice win last night. Sorry if you're if you're not a fan. Uh, so I wanted to just thank everybody for uh, first of all the ABTA for inviting me here today. It's a humbling experience to come up and be able to speak in front of you. Um, grateful for the years of a partnership with the ABTA. Before I tell you about our organization, I did want to put a heartfelt thank you to Ralph DeVito for his years of service to the ABTA his partnership with the JAG Fund, and more importantly, his friendship with us and our family. So, Ralph. So, to correct on a date, um, Joel actually passed, he was developed a brain tumor in 1988. So it was 10 years off, but that's, that's totally fine. Aging ourselves. Uh, but I, we lost Joel when he was 27 years old. Uh, in his memory, I founded the Joel A. Jingris Jr. Memorial Foundation, with his, which is a mouthful, so we just, Put down the acronym it's called the JAG fund much easier to say um, my parents I'm, I'm one of six my parents are my siblings our spouses and now our kids are involved in our charity so it's truly a family affair uh, Joel was my best friend in the spring of 1988 I started to see him struggle headaches nausea imbalance and more hurtful is his fear and uh, he was my hero and then all of a sudden I saw that he was human. It was a tough time for our family. Um, never in a million years did I imagine that we would lose him to a brain tumor, but that's what happened. I wanted to share that story with you because uh, it's important to where we are today, but uh, more importantly, it's what um, really was the silver lining was that it created the JAG Fund and our journey to help brain tumor research. Joel was the life of the party, as Don said. Um, he especially loved our annual tube float this was a uh, trip down the Delaware River every summer. We would gather a bunch of friends from college. We'd get together, sit in inner tubes, soak up the sun, and have a few beers. Little did I know that that event would become a permanent part of my life. After surgery, Joel had a number of setbacks, and due to the complications of the surgery, he was unable to come home from the hospital. With the mounting hospital bills, my friends and I decided that we could use the tube float as a way to raise money to help him with his expenses. Sadly, he passed away that October. My family and I decided to use the money we raised to support the American Brain Tumor Association in hopes of making a difference. The following year, as I try to move forward with losing my brother, we decided that we should continue, continue the fundraiser and leverage the tube float to help support the ABTA. And that's when the JAG Fund was born. In the early years, our goal was simple, just raise money for brain tumor research through our tube float. As we grew, so did our purpose. Our event began to create awareness. We started hearing from brain tumor patients and caregivers. Luckily, we had the option to send them to the American Brain Tumor Association where they could find critical information that never existed when Joel was diagnosed, and more importantly, counseling. So this was a meaningful change for our organization as we started to become carrying the responsibility of actually helping people direct them to find guidance in this terrible time. One thing you need to know about my family is that we're fighters and we're doers. Thankfully, we're surrounded by amazing friends that share that spirit. 
Together, we've determined to make a, a difference and to help with brain tumors. We, like, we get to keep Joel's spirit alive at the same time supporting and trying to prevent other families from being devastated by this disease. So fast forward 35 years today, I'm proud to say that the JAG Fund is the longest running charity for the, Amer the ABTA in their history. And as Don said, And as Don said, raised over $2.8 million and uh, helped countless lives. So nothing's going to be able to drink, bring Joel back to us, but we're not going to quit. We have the JAG Fund to get us through all this. We remain as committed today as we were in 1989 when we established the JAG Fund. And we're choosing to, to help everybody here to try to make a difference in your lives. Uh, we all kind of joined this fraternity that no one wanted to be in, and it's that fraternity of people who are impacted by brain tumors. So we're here to help that, and something we're very, very happy to be doing. So a 35-year partnership with the ABTA, probably one of the more meaningful things I've done in my life, and um, really happy to be part of your incredible team, the network you have, and the resources that you give us when people call me and ask for help. So thank you for that, and thank you, everybody, for the time today. And uh, I'll bring up... I'd like to start by adding my thanks uh, to the Joel A. Gingras Jr. Foundation and uh, in recognition of the Gingras's dedication, the ABTA established the Joel A. Gingras Jr. Award in 2010. The purpose of this award is to recognize an individual or organization who, through philanthropy, advocacy, discovery, or patient care and support, have had a transformative effect on advancing ABTA's mission. Donald and I were honored to receive the award last year and are grateful to pass it on to this year's deserving recipient, Kathy Oliver. Kathy Oliver is the chair and founding co-director of the International Brain Tumor Alliance, known as IBTA. She founded the IBTA in 2005 as a dynamic worldwide community for brain tumor patient organizations and others involved in the field of neuro-oncology. Kathy's vision in forming the IBTA was to advocate for equitable access to new brain tumor therapies, encourage the establishment of brain tumor patient and caregiver support groups in countries where they didn't yet exist, and to raise, to raise awareness around the globe of the challenges associated with this devastating disease. Kathy's son, Colin was diagnosed with a brain tumor in 2004 at the age of 24 and passed away at the age of 32 in August of 2011. Kathy cites her son's incredible courage, determination, and fortitude as the driving force and inspiration behind her involvement in the international brain tumor and cancer community. Kathy has been actively involved with the ABTA in a number of ways over the past six years as a partner and supporter through working groups, workshops, developing guiding principles for brain tumor centers, and co-authoring a paper focus, focused on including the patient voice in the development and implementation of patient-reported outcomes in clinical trials. Most recently, Kathy closely partnered with ABTA to plan and host the first ever international patient advocacy symposium focused on brain metastases held in Vienna, Austria in 2023. 
ABTA is honored to work alongside such a leader in the brain tumor patient advocacy field with such passion for quality patient care, equitable access to treatments, and patient support. Please help me congratulate Kathy Oliver. Okay, do you want to present this to Kathy? To Kathy. Kathy. <laughs> Unfortunately, Kathy has laryngitis. Uh, it's a gift of ours to her. She just got here from England last night. Yeah, and nice. and uh, fortunately has has uh, recruited someone to uh, present her remarks. Thanks. I just say one word. She wants to say one word. Literally, it's going to be one word. My dear friend Jean Arsbecker from the IBTA and other places is going to speak for me. I thought I'd move my mouth at the same time, but just try and believe that she is me and you'll get the message. Thank you very, very much for this tremendous honor. I'm absolutely thrilled. Thank you. I won't try to imitate the British accent, so imagine Kathy saying these words. Good morning and thank you very much, Gail, for that kind introduction. I am humbled and I've had the great honor of receiving the ABTA's Joel A. Gingris Jr. Award. And although I'm standing at this lectern on my own, sort of, this moment is about all of you who inspire us every day to advocate for the best treatments, information, support, and quality of life. This moment is about a young man called Joel A. Gingris and another young man named Colin, my son, whose memories I'd also like to honor today. This moment is about the researchers, doctors, nurses, allied health professionals, treatment developers, and of course my fellow patient advocates in organizations around the globe whose dedication to their work has also inspired me in many ways. This moment is, also, is about the International Brain Tumor Alliance's efforts to build bridges across continents and cultures. It's about using those bridges to dispel fear, improve outcomes, banish loneliness, celebrate survivorship, and always be ready to help colleagues, patients, and caregivers in the less developed, less privileged areas of the world. Finally, this moment is also about the huge inspiration I've taken from the ABTA, whose impact on brain tumor research has been phenomenal and whose dedication to the brain tumor community has been steadfast for over 50 years. So I know that even though this wonderful Joel A. Gingris Jr. Award has my name on it, it recognizes something that I hope everyone can celebrate. It recognizes collaboration, which unites us all. Collaboration amplifies our individual efforts far beyond anything we can achieve on our own. Collaboration nurtures our small steps so they grow into giant leaps. And then, of course, all of us are winners. Thank you very much. Wow, that was quite special. And uh, in addition to Jonathan, I think we introduced Sandra, but if not, Sandra Jingris. Thank you, Sandra. As Jonathan said, the JAG Fund is a group experience. <laughs> I've never had the privilege of a tube float that others have had, including Don and, uh, and many others. So what a special opportunity for us to say thank you to Kathy Oliver. Um, Kathy is truly a collaborator at heart. When we come together, we can do more in concert 
to pool our resources to have even a greater impact. I now want to welcome our, one of our co-chairs, uh, Marta Peñas Prado. Uh, Marta and Roy did an amazing job creating the program with our team and now leading us through here on uh, a full Saturday. Thank you, Marta. <laughs> 